Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session, the uh, uh, Friday, the 12th of January 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app at www.tradesignal.com. Uh, you can certainly download it at Google Play and the Apple App Store. So, okay, in terms of uh, 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 markets' this position this morning, again, US markets certainly ripping higher overnight again. Uh, the uh, the rally certainly continues, um, certainly um, on stop. You had the S and P up twenty points, the Nasdaq up a whopping sixty points, and the Dow up another two hundred odd points. So certainly it seems that the infrastructure spending bill certainly isn't priced in. The market's certainly pushing higher. Overnight we had Chinese data coming in stronger than expected again. Certainly out the uh, equity market sentiment to a large extent as well. Although oil prices have actually come off the highs now, trading back below sixty four. So. Let's see how that plays out, okay? In terms of European markets this morning, again, European markets certainly curbed to a large extent due to the fact that the euro rallied on the back of ECB minutes, indicating that there are potential argument there to uh, obviously uh, restrict um, uh, potential QE going forward. And again, that certainly has caused a rally in the euro, so therefore certainly causing a, a weakness in uh, European equities to a large extent due to the stronger euro. In terms of the uh, uh, rest of the markets, let's just go through fundamentals this morning then. Uh, again, Chinese trade data certainly really remains the epicenter of the focus. Uh, inflation data from the um, from uh, France certainly came in slightly weaker year over year, uh, but on a month-on-month -on -month basis more or less in line. Uh, other than that, there's nothing really of any importance. From the European markets, the focus certainly remains on US uh, economic data now later on today. We have retail sales, CPI data, so again, it will be dollar sensitive so let's see how the market plays out there again u.s equities certainly ripping higher uh, again let's just quickly look into the dow give you an insight here okay dow jones as you can see here breaking higher uh, again certainly helping the u.s or european indices to a large extent okay so looking at the german dax now let's go to the daily chart of the german dax folks okay uh you can see here we certainly retrace now we have a uh, news with regards to german coalition talks as well certainly uh, potentially progressing there again that certainly is a factor certainly to uh, take into account as well but the stronger euro again like i said denting any ability for the uh, the actual european indices to uh, certainly uh, gain any traction so that's something certainly to uh, take into account as well so daily chart coming into gap fill in the german dax 60 minute chart on the german dax we've held gap fill held a 200 ma let's see how we play out here so uh, German DAX certainly not, or European indices certainly not joining the uh, the bullish bandwagon as of yet. So just take that into account as well. In terms of the uh, uh, French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you. French CAC certainly has been under pressure today. Again, stronger euro, bear that in mind. We failed to break out that double top key resistance. Okay, so again, just bear that in mind. Take that into consideration when trading the French CAC. You do have a pending bear flag here, as you can see, looking to potentially break lower just consolidating within that zone at the moment so again uh, an argument could be made for a potential hns top as well as you can see here potential top pattern looking for a right shoulder and looking to potentially flush lower you do have an unfilled gap below at uh, 5415 let's see if we can flush and close that gap 10 minute chart for now you are going to see resistance here at 5515 resistance at 5530 okay and obviously we're seeing resistance here at 5 tie 510 zone as well on the downside, you've got that first gap to be filled at 5.417, and then the other gap we've got at 5.415. So again, market's certainly vulnerable. Okay, now moving on. In terms of the FTSE 100, again, this is an index that's been helped by stronger Chinese data. Obviously, the Dow ripping higher as well, certainly being helped to a lot to that extent as well. Daily chart overtly overtly bullish okay 10 minute chart again just looking for signals here potential signals for the markets to uh, potentially reverse on okay so again you had gap fill yesterday at 7765 we certainly held uh, you've got support below at 7735 market hasn't even retested that yet so again has been very impressive for the FTSE even though stronger sterling again uh, not uh, of impact the FTSE weaker for your oil prices today as well yet still failing to impact the FTSE so so it looks like nothing certainly is coming in the way in terms of FTSE. The bulls certainly are buying it and, and certainly believing in the rally as well. Okay, now in terms of the uh, uh, Europe Euro stocks, last but not least, okay, again, this is an index I'm waiting to short now, especially with the Euro spiking higher as well. You've got a lower high being held thus far, even with the US equities pushing higher. So again, European equities not joining in. So when US equities do sell off, then European equities certainly will be the first to sell off. So just bear that in mind as well. 
uh, at the moment we're just consolidating with this pair flag scenario and looking like we need to potentially flush lower you do have a unfilled gap below at 3510 so that really will be the downside target after having said that you do have multiple support zones below as well around 3525 3545 then eventually 3510 so watch out there okay so i think that's a summation really of uh, european indices uh, again it's infrastructure spending markets certainly running on the back of us equities moving higher you have um, a situation with chinese data as well certainly stronger than expected that helping sentiment as well to a large extent but the question is are always all good news baked into the cake that's the question okay can we really sustain moves higher again that's a good question with the euro now potentially or your ecb now potentially uh, turning hawkish is that good news or does that bring an end to this potential rally so bear that in mind so european entities certainly bearish in terms of the rest us and uk uh, the jury is out on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and uh, certainly you take advantage of the bonus as well and may be sure to download the latest tracing on that app goodbye now